I was recently in London and was super inspired by the beautiful culture, the architecture, the style, and of course the monarchy. So in today's video, we are recreating Princess Catherine of Wales outfits that I found are super easy to pull together with items already in your closet. And not only that, but they're perfect for the spring season coming up. And some of the things that really stuck out to me when I was doing the research on her outfits and style is number one, she is the epitome of timeless classic style because in any picture that you see of her, you really can't tell if the picture was taken last year, yesterday, five years ago. She is very true to her style and it always feels fresh and new and beautifully elegant. So if you love that kind of style, you're gonna love this video. And not only that, make sure to hit the subscribe button because I focus on classic elegant style. And I also love incorporating relevant trends that are wearable. I have a very unique background in having gone to many different fashion month seasons, but also being a mom that wants to look put together and also have functional looks. The second thing that really stuck out to me is that she wears what flatters her body. So a lot of the time she's wearing low rise jeans or skinny jeans, which are a big like, no. She looks so perfect in them. If you do want more skinny jean looks, make sure to check out my how to wear skinny jeans in 2024 video. The third thing that stuck out to me was how flawlessly she integrates high low fashion. So some of these are Zara pieces, some of them are Chanel, and it's gorgeously integrated together to come up with royal style that, that may seem out of reach for many of us. We can easily recreate these looks and we'll get started. The first look that we're gonna cover is one of my absolute favorite color combinations is black and camel. And this looks beautiful in any season. And it's just a great look to reach for when you literally don't know what to wear in the morning and you just don't wanna deal. Start out with black trousers that fit you, a black belt with a gold statement buckle, and a black knit turtleneck, which is very understated and subtly sexy. If you look really closely, the bag is not black. It's actually a very rich midnight blue in the darkest navy possible that adds a little bit of dimension and elegance to the look, which I really love. The shoes, I think, are just some ankle boots to elevate the look a little bit, but it's just such a simple, easy to pull together outfit with minimal accessories. And it's also a look that I featured in my classic work outfit ideas, so make sure to check that out. As spring is approaching, you may wanna trade out the wool coat for a trench coat. You'll still get the same effect and vibe. There's three trench coats that I really love. One of them is by Zazan, it's a Scott trench. Second one is by Golia. That is a very, very lightweight trench. So if you live somewhere warmer, but still want that layered trench effect, it's perfect because it's not too hot. And the third is a very affordable one by London Fog. The second outfit is an all red look that is very, very striking. And as you've probably heard, red is the it color for 2024, as along with burgundy and this beautiful light blue here. It's a little bit easier to dip your toes in the color waters if you pick very, very classic cuts. So if you're gonna go for bright, bold, beautiful colors, you want something that's very tailored and that is not too loud and flashy in the cut itself. So for this look, she's wearing a red knit with a red pleated skirt and nude accessories. So I'm recreating this look with actually a maxi red dress that has a little bit of a twirl of a skirt to kind of give the effect of a pleated skirt. So, so in this look, I'm highlighting how, even though I don't have the exact pieces that she has, which are two separates, I can still reach the same effect with an maxi dress that's in the same color and then pulling together the accessories. As luck would have it, I happen to have the same Demolier London bag that she's holding there. This one is the mini size. She's wearing the mini and it's in a, I think it's in the brown color and this is a taupe, but I can recreate the look using this and some nude Kate Louboutins that go perfectly with to achieve like the overall look. If you've been wanting to try red and you just needed a little push. I think this outfit is it. The third look is by one of my favorite brands, Cezanne, and if you are a subscriber or have watched my videos before, then you know that I love Cezanne. I cover them all the time. And by the way, if you haven't hit the subscribe button already, please do so. It would just help me so, so much. Moving on, separates are still available and they're a wonderful investment because knit sets are not only super trendy for 2024 and you see them everywhere, but even if they weren't trendy, they're just closet staples. They'll serve you year in and year out as separates. You can wear the skirt with a button down, a turtleneck, a tank top, and then the sweater, of course, with any bottom whatsoever. I didn't buy the exact jumper that she has here in this picture. I actually got the cardigan because I felt like it was more versatile for me. I tend to wear a lot of cardigans, both as tops and it's just a layer. Even if you're not ready to make an investment, putting together a neutral knit skirt and top, even if they're not matching, but they're just tonal, 
is a great way to achieve the look. She also has nude accessories in the form of pumps and a handbag. The finishing touch to this very simple outfit are her pearl drop earrings and I have the perfect ones as well as a discount code in case you're interested by Gingerberry. I was recently gifted these and one of the reasons that I really love them is because they're convertible so you can choose to wear the drop pearl or you can just wear the earring on its own like this so you can just have a very simple huggy hoop or you can add the pearl as well and have it be a different look. The quality is absolutely beautiful. You can see the iridescence of the pearl. I just have been really happy with them and pearls have always been so timeless, but ever since Quiet Luxury and Old Money Aesthetic, we've really seen a big return in the classic pearl set. The other items I received are this really beautiful pearl bracelet, as well as a single strand pearl necklace that is the epitome of elegance. So if you're interested, I'll put all the details below as well as my discount code. Fourth look is very similar to one that I shared on Instagram a couple of months ago and created so much controversy and hate that I it, it blows my mind to this day. Actually, I'm still getting comments today and it's using an Argyle sweater. Sorry everyone, she meant fair aisle sweater. Skinny jeans, any high boots. I know, it's the thing that controversy is made of. But I gotta say, she's wearing it here and it's timeless. And that third layer that she's using is different than the one that I used to style in the video. For the video, I used a very long cream maxi coat because maxi coats have been very trendy for 2024. But in this look, you can tell it's more of the country, of the town and country type of vibe. That is probably a barber jacket. Just a very beautiful royal sporty look. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna be sporty but you're a royal, I think this is what you wear. You can really wear any knit underneath skinny jeans, knee-high boots, and a functional jacket that serves your purpose. So right now I wouldn't wear the same maxi jacket that I wore a couple of months ago because the weather is changing. So I might pick a crop trench or even more of like a utility jacket that she has here. But this is a great weekend look. Despite the haters, I think will work for Kate and it works for me as well. The fifth look is a beautiful floral dress in blue and white. And this is a very common look for her. She has maybe about five or six different iterations that I was easily able to find of a similar look like this. And for this look, I'm using this gorgeous dress by Petite Studio. It is a Georgette fabric, doesn't wrinkle. Many of us have a similar dress in our closet. I also love that it's a very timeless and classic cut. It's got a drop waist here, which is very trendy for 2024. The beautiful button detail, bracelet sleeves, and a very subtle, modest leg slip. The sixth look is another super casual outfit using skinny jeans. And if you really don't like them or they don't flatter your body type. Straight leg jeans are a wonderful alternative. She's wearing them here with trainers, a tight fitting kind of bodysuit. And if you don't like bodysuits, I can't recommend the Pumi t-shirts enough. I have a couple of really gorgeous ones that have different necklines and they're form fitting to the body so that they look like their bodysuits, but you don't have to deal with snapping and unsnapping all day long. And then she's adding that elegant classic vibe with a blazer with the gold buttons. It's slightly oversized, not overwhelming to her frame, but more oversized than the styles that she typically wears. She's not wearing a bag or anything like that. And this is another thing with her outfits is that I would say that half the time that I was looking through all of her outfits, she's not wearing a handbag at all. That's interesting. I guess when you have other people holding your belongings, you can you can get away with that. I have a couple of blazers that would work, one from Left Shack Fancy, one from Amazon that's super affordable that has those, those gold marine slash military buttons, and then one from Club Monaco that's ancient. But these are very easy to find. I feel like everybody makes them from Balmain to Veronica Beard to Amazon. So you probably have one in your closet as well. This look is fantastic for travel, errands, and like the mommy drop-off type of thing. And look number seven is monochrome. Princess Catherine loves a good monochrome look and you see dozens of different colors that she's used. She really is not averse to color whatsoever. But in this look that I'm showing you here is an all white look, which I think looks so beautiful if you can handle it. I have to do this very sparingly because I'm a coffee drinker, I'm mom, and I'm overall a little bit messier than most. But if I ever want to make like a really good entrance, like, you know, do a power play, I'll probably show up in this outfit. I think it looks absolutely stunning and it's very easy to recreate with white pumps, white trousers, a white top, beautiful, crisp white overcoat and a white bag. So all white. If you wanted to kind of swing in the other direction, there was another look that I was really inspired by, which was all black and then layering on a very dark plaid coat, which I thought was super classic. And plaids are actually very trendy for 2024. So even though we're not in fall right now, they're everywhere. 
as I mentioned, I was in London and they were Mango, River Island, all over Harrods. Plaids were just still very much present, even though there's something that's typically more seen in the fall. So embrace them and they're also very British as well. Be sure to check out five French girl outfit formulas that'll make getting dressed in the morning super easy. And if you had fun with me today, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I hope to see you really soon.